Hello everyone, this is Matt McClellan bringing you another just-in-time video short. This time we're talking about gathering crash dumps from a Windows machine. I'm going to level with you. If we're talking about gathering crash dumps, we're talking about troubleshooting complex application problems in the Windows environment. The biggest thing they provide is a lot of information about the computer environment itself, like memory and other resources. And interactive intelligence will request these crash dumps when you regularly have applications or processes that will hang or crash. And I'll get into those terms later. Um, in the video, we're going to talk about what tools are required to gather these and then where you find them once you have them gathered. I'm going to break the instruction up into multiple parts, and in this first part, we're going to talk about getting the tools you need to actually gather them. So let's get started. Before we begin, it's important to determine which version of Windows the machine is running and what its system type is. To find out, you go to the computer where you're going to be running the utility, you check out its properties, and it will tell you here. So I'm running Windows Server 2008 R2. That's the Windows version I'm using. And then down here under System, it shows me that I have a 64-bit operating system. Once we have that information, we come out here to this Microsoft site. I will provide this link at the end of the video. But we scroll down to about halfway down the page, and we see this area where it says Standalone Debugging Tools for Windows. And there are two links on this page. If the operating system that you're running on is Windows XP or uh, Vista or some earlier version, you will download from this link over here. That will give you an earlier version of the tool. Anything Windows 7 and later, you will come over here to this link on the left and you'll click on the link to download uh, the utility. I've now successfully downloaded the file and I'm going to begin the installation process. And it's simply a matter of walking through the wizard here. So I click Next. I'm going to go ahead and keep that as the default. I accept the agreement. And now I've got a list of things um, that I can possibly install. I am pretty much going to not install anything except the debugging tools for Windows. That's really all we need. And there's actually one tool embedded in there that we want. So I click on Install. I get the UAC warning. Click Yes and then it's going to go ahead and install all of this. So save us some time. I will fast forward to after the installation is complete. The install is now complete, and I now have this new directory, uh, C program files x86 Windows Kit 8.1 debuggers. And you can see based on the processor type of the machine, I've got two different folders. I'm going to go into x64. And the application we are concerned with is this AD plus .exe. That's the tool that's going to do the capturing of a crash dump file for us. Um, so in this next section here, I'm going to show you how to set up the AD Plus for two different scenarios that you might encounter. This concludes part one. You're now ready for part two.